twins after IVF and is it a good idea to have twins? You want to find out more? Watch the rest of this video. I'm Dr. Malpani. I'm an IVF specialist at Malpani Infertility Clinic at www.drmalpani.com. Now, everyone knows that the chance of having twins after IVF increases. And most people are secretly quite happy about the thought of having twins. They tickled pink. Oh, great. I'll complete my family at one shot. I have a bonus. Who wants to do this again and again if I can have two babies? at a time for the price of one isn't that so much better of course I want to have twins and they're so cute and you can dress them up and everyone will keep on saying oh how sweet and that's why it's so tempting to want to have twins after IVF but this is a bad idea let me tell you why one of the reasons for why there used to be so many twins after IVF is because when the pregnancy rates weren't very good Doctors who didn't have very good pregnancy rates after IVF would put lots of embryos back into the uterus at one time. And they did this with the hope that at least one embryo would stick. Now when you're putting three embryos and four embryos, a bit ridiculous I know but people still do that. When you're putting four embryos back at one time, there's a chance that one may stick but there's a chance that two may stick and you end up with twins. Two things you need to remember. There's a chance that nothing may stick. So just because you put four doesn't mean you're going to get pregnant. Equally important, if you put four, three may stick. You may end up with triplets. Major disaster. Because then your risk of having a premature labor is extremely high. So you're actually taking on unnecessary risk in your greed. Or perhaps the doctor is taking on that unnecessary risk to, you know, chalk you up as one more success story. Any doctor who transfers more than two embryos is a bad doctor. No question about that. I know people talk about triplets with a lot of these celebrities, but I actually think that's a failure of IVF. The best IVF clinics put only one embryo back at a time. What's called a single embryo transfer, which is what we advise. So we say, of course, you can have as many babies as you want, but you should only have one baby at a time. And why is that? Because the uterus was designed to carry only one baby which means the obstetric complications are much less with singleton pregnancies as compared with twin pregnancies. Twin pregnancies may seem cute, especially after the babies are born, but during the pregnancy, they can actually be a nightmare. Not just for the mom, but for the obstetrician as well, and obstetricians will tell you that. There is a significantly increased risk of preterm premature rupture of membranes, which means that about 18 weeks, 20 weeks, for unexplained reasons, the mouth of the uterus opens up, the babies miscarry you lose both the babies just terrible someone gives you something and then snatches it back and you know that if you hadn't put two back and you'd put only one this wouldn't have happened so that causes major heartburn and the problem with twins is that the risk of preterm labor and delivery is definitely increased as compared to a singleton pregnancy and the obstetrician really doesn't care but the pediatrician does because if you end up with premature delivery which is definitely increased with the twin pregnancy these are small babies and premature babies end up in the neonatal intensive care unit or the NICU or the ICU and an ICU is an expensive place to be you're spending 20 30 40 thousand rupees multiplied by two per day especially if your kid needs a ventilator or something but much worse a lot of these babies are sick even if you overcome that, they will often have residual neurological brain deficits, eye deficits because of that extreme prematurity. Things like cerebral palsy and retinopathy of prematurity and blindness. And this is not something which IVF specialists talk to you about because they don't care. They don't see these babies. And obstetricians don't tell you all this stuff, but that's the truth. That statistically, by putting two embryos, you're increasing your chance of getting pregnant but you're increasing your risk of having a premature labor and babies with problems, which means you end up with a bad bargain. And also remember that I understand that putting two increases your chance of getting pregnant as compared to putting one, but that's a misconception again, because you shouldn't compare apples with oranges. When you put two at a time and you don't get pregnant, you have no embryos left. You have to start all over again. Whereas when you put one at a time and you get pregnant, that's great. You have a singleton healthy pregnancy. And you can use that second embryo for your second baby. And even if you don't get pregnant, you still have that second embryo, which is now frozen. So it's much less expensive. So therefore, always tell the doctor, freeze all my extra embryos, store them for me. 
and put only one embryo back. Make sure it's a blastocyst, what's called a day five embryo. Make sure that he freezes the extra embryos and make sure he gives you photographs of all your embryos. Have any questions? Feel free to email me. Our website is www.drmalpani.com. I offer a free second opinion. Everything is personal. Everything is confidential. We look forward to helping you to have a baby. And I'll see you online. Best luck.